Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I just want to start this video off by saying if you find this video helpful, please sub to my channel. That will help me out massively. Or if you want to see some other videos like base designs, trap based videos or solo survival series. Yeah, just hit that sub button as I currently know that about 80% of my um, view time is from people who are not sub to my channel. So if you can hit that sub button, that will help me out massive. Right, let's get straight into this video. Cheers. Welcome back guys to another video from me, Adam. Now, if you have found your way to this video, I'm assuming you want to turn your vanilla server into a modded server. So if that is correct, let's stay watching and I'll show you how to do it. So first off, what you want to do is you want to load up your browser and search for umod. Hit enter, go to umod's homepage, which is umod.org. Go into there. And then what you want to do is you want to download um, Rust's version of oxide so you go to games and then you click on rust and as you can see the uh, last latest version of oxide come out two days ago which is good so if you ever have problems with any of your plugins it's worth just um, checking that there isn't a new version of oxide out because that will fix it most of the time so click rust and then as we can see here we click this download button and that will download oxide rust as a zip folder for me there which is brilliant so then what I need to do is if I go into that folder location show in folder I can kind of minimize this for you and there we have it so we've got oxide.rust folder so what you want to do then is you want to extract that using winzip winrar or any other program that you've got that you can extract so I will extract all and I'll just click extract and it should put it next to it and there we go that is now done that for me which is brilliant so I can close this one behind and I now have a rust dedicated dot data folder which is perfect so I will just shift it keep this here for one second now we have that I can go into my rust server folder which I have done in the previous videos which is in my C drive and it is under rust server and there we go so I'm into this now and what I need to do then is I before I can copy this over I need to edit my batch file and to do that I need to edit this run underscore ds file edit and I need to delete this text here this text is basically saying to load up a script that has already been pre-placed in the folder I'll show you what that is quickly before I delete it it's this here update script text file so if I edit this one what you'll see is this is that script is telling to run this script which is basically saying to log in anonymously and then update my rust to the latest version of rust but the problem with doing that is if we update to the latest version of rust every time we load it up um, it basically cancels out oxide so then our server becomes vanilla again and it's not modded anymore so we need to stop this from happening I could just delete that from that script but for, for ease of use I'm going to edit in the batch file and we're going to delete this command here which is telling it to run that script file so we delete that and then I can save now I've deleted that we can close the batch file and that's because we've saved it and then what we need to do is we need to go into the rust ds folder and then we need to copy this rust dedicated underscore data folder and replace the one that is in the server so if I copy this one over here it will come up um, do I uh, there's already the same folder in there so do I want to replace it yes I do so I click the tick and there we are, our Oxide files are now on our server. So what we need to do now is actually load up the server via the um, batch file, which is back here. Um, we run the batch file and then that should create an Oxide folder for us. So we'll quickly run that. Right, as we can see now, my server is now loaded up. I got all these entities, no people sleeping in there because obviously it's fresh. So I can go back into my server folder and into the Rust DS folder. And as we can see now, there is an Oxide folder. That only appears once you boot up your server. 
So if we go into the Oxide folder, we can see a lot of different folders in here now. So what you're going to be doing now, which will be coming up in the uh, future videos, is I'm going to start going through a lot of the plugins for you and show you how to set them up and how to configure them properly. So what you do is you go on new mod, you pick which uh, plugin you want, and you'll be putting the plugin in here. You don't edit this file, you just put that plugin in there and that's that done. And then what you want to do then is we go into the config files and that's where we start making the adjustments to the mods as in changing the parameters or changing what it does and different colors of things and there's loads of things that we're going to cover in the future videos so um, that's it guys um, I hope this has helped you out um, any problems don't forget to comment in the down below I will do my best to help you out and as quickly as possible and yeah um, I'll catch you guys later I'm gonna get a lot of people, baby, shit, I'm gonna get a lot of people.